You know, there aren't a whole lot of precedents for this, so I can sort of provide conjecture, I guess, of what I think would, would really help. Better education of medical students and of residents, uh, people who are going through medical training to be doctors or nurse practitioners for that matter, would help. So that's got to be number one is better training of medical professionals on the opiate crisis. Recently there's been a law passing that nurse practitioners will be allowed to get the license now and that's going to help quite a bit. Probably the best precedent that's out there in terms of how to better treat the epidemic France, I forget how long ago it was exactly, but the country of France several years back just said any physician who has a license to prescribe controlled substances can prescribe Suboxone, Subutex for treatment of those with opiate addiction. And they had a drastic drop in their rate of overdose death after just that step was taken without really doing anything else. So I don't know if any one of those is a, a panacea or something that's gonna fix every single problem that's out there, but I think they're all positive steps. Yeah, in a perfect world, more doctors would get training and there would be enough of us out there who got the training so that there'd be some people out there with specialized knowledge who know how to, how to take care of patients with this problem. On the flip side, you say, well, to some regard, there's not great barriers to getting the treatment right now. Um, getting the waiver to prescribe the medication is not terribly difficult. You gotta be willing to go through eight hours of training and then you're allowed to prescribe. So that's not an incredible barrier when you think about how much time most physicians spend in training and in learning. So I think that that would be the perfect solution by which I mean I think it would be perfect if more doctors would get the training and do it, but realistically, it's just not happening. So you can't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. And I think if it came down to just saying, all right, no restrictions, anybody with a controlled substance license is allowed to prescribe this, that may be the better way to go.